Welcome back to Smuggler's Ventures. Today we're going to be heading into Disneyland because there's some exciting news with Toontown and also with New Orleans Square. So come along with me on this adventure. Looks like Downtown Disney, or should I say World Disney, actually getting ready. Even though I may have showed some of the merchandise, it looks like the window display is finally up. Look how cool! Like I said, this is giving me some uh, 60th vibes. Um, with the purple and silver because the 60th was blue and silver so i'm excited for the 100th anniversary check this out guys they actually got they actually starting to put banners in all the buildings now so excited how cool is this and where the christmas tree usually goes or the pumpkin they actually have a statue of mickey mouse i believe it looks like it's going to be the same one that they have in downtown disney pretty cool the 27th is when the 100th anniversary actually kicks off. I cannot wait. So I say our first stop is going to be inside Adventureland. Um, did you know when they were building Adventureland, they, on like the, all the other signs like Frontier, Tomorrowland, I know Fantasy doesn't have, Fantasyland doesn't have a sign, but Toontown does. But when they were building it, they kind of pushed the Adventureland, Adventureland sign back because they wanted to make it seem like it was like mysterious in a way, kind of like pushing back. So not pushing it back, but like you have to kind of like clear the bushes out to go see Adventureland. So yeah, if you actually look at the sign from Main Street, the sign is kind of hidden compared to all the other signs for the, the land. So this is what I want to show you guys in, uh, in Adventureland. Oh my God, I was about to say Tomorrowland. Due to the construction for Indiana Jones, because it's down for a big uh, refurb, and Tarzan's Treehouse, Adventureland is now a dead end. So as you see the sign straight ahead, you have to your left, you have the Jungle Cruise, or to your right, you have Bengal Barbecue, and it's probably as far as you can go. Um, I don't believe they have gave, uh, given any update on when Indiana Jones will be opening up or Tarzan's treehouse so hopefully very soon so now to get to New Orleans Square you're actually going to have to cut through this little pathway which links Frontierland to Adventureland and you're going to come around the corner to Pioneer Mercantile so this is going to be the only way to get to New Orleans Square so here's going to be another view of Tarzan's treehouse as you see it doesn't look like that much of a treehouse right now it's just what kinds of scaffolding and um, construction stuff. It looks like there's a generator right there too. So it looks like they're doing a lot of work to it. Um, like I said, I don't think they release a opening date yet, but when they do, I would love to go climb the treehouse. So this is where I want to bring you guys to French Market. Unfortunately, the French Market will be closing February 16th. Um, it's actually gonna get reimagined to Princess and Frog. So Tiana, I think it's gonna be called Tiana's Palace or Tiana's Place. Um, but it's gonna be a lot of Creole and style food, Cre Creole style food, which is pretty much already in the French market. And I believe they're gonna enhance the menu a little more. So this is one place, like I said, I'm really looking forward to, I know I'm looking forward to a lot this year. Cause you know what, this year I'm going to try to make it a positive year. Um, but I thought would just show French market before they retheme it. Here's Here's going to be a quick view of the French market from the interior. Um, kind of excited to see what's going to be looking like after. So I just spoke to a cast member right now and they said that all this right here is actually going to be changing. Then the main 
chandel or should I say chandel, the main glass dome. Rumor has it there's going to be a chandelier that's going to be coming to it. So pretty cool. And they also said that they're going to be getting new flooring, which I kind of hope so. To uh, I mean, it's Tiana's place. Got to make her look beautiful, right? Have you guys ever done the canoes at the Disneyland Resort? If not, you're in for a major arm workout. Now, it only works if everyone paddles, but you'll get some guests um, that don't want to paddle. So, it is a true workout. It is pretty fun, though. I remember one time I was on the canoes. We got a little too close to the banks of the... Uh, the banks of Tom Sawyer Island are now Pirate's Lair and one of the cast members made the joke that we were getting in touch with nature because a, a but um, oh my god I cannot speak a bush whacked a couple of us so we were technically getting in touch with nature uh, in, in touch with nature I cannot speak how exciting is this the walls of Toontown are finally down I believe they are actually doing cast member previews for the new attraction and they actually debuted the new sign which is pretty cool it's a little more vibrant than the last one the last one was a little more weathered and looks like the sun has really gone to it as this one looks a little more vibrant but if you have not ridden that ride um pretty much we're getting a carbon copy of the one that's in florida so if you type in mickey's runway railway on YouTube, you actually be able to see kind of uh, you uh, you kind of be able to see the ride that's actually debuting in Toontown. Um, rumor has it is that the queue is a lot different compared to the one in Florida, um, and I believe this ride is actually going to be opening on the 27th of January. So I'm also looking forward to seeing this ride and riding it because I've been wanting to ride this ride in Florida for so long, and now that there's actually a carbon copy of it in Disneyland. I cannot wait. Um, I seen the video of it in Florida, and it, it's almost kind of like Rise of the Resistance, where it's a trackless system. And yeah, it's actually going to be a pretty cool experience. Um, rumor has it too is that, like I said, the queue here is actually themed to Toontown instead of a uh, Man Strange Theater in Florida. So. That's going to be a cool opportunity to see. But I think... Oh, and also too, like I said, the ride's going to be opening at the end of... Or should I say January 27th. And I believe the rest of Toontown's going to be opening up at a later date. So, should I say stay tuned? <laughs> a little funny, funny there. Just kidding. Or am I? I'm not quite sure at this point. But some cast members are coming out from a cast preview. Well, that's going to be it for today's adventure. We did give an update on Adventureland, Toontown, and New Orleans Square. All the new things coming and shortly closing. Um, if you like today's adventure, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. So every time I upload a new adventure, you guys will be the first to know. Like I always say, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So as of right now, I'm currently editing this adventure. It has been a couple days, but it is quite gloomy outside today. Um kind of odd today it was sunny but yet it was raining pretty different in california but hey you get used to it